robots that help the elderly in everyday life are no longer something from a science fiction film. Elias is a communication assistant designed to make it possible for older people to live independently in their own home for longer, as well as ensure that people remain socially networked. Elias was developed by a very interdisciplinary team. Electrical engineers, computer scientists, sociologists, psychologists, and manufacturers of robotic components were all involved. Here in the Fraunhofer Study Laboratory, we're able to test Elias together with users. Excuse me, you have received an email. Shall I read the email? Oh, sure. That's nice. Elias, come here. Hello, Grandad. I was thinking of visiting you tomorrow. Would you like to reply? Yes, please call Bob. I'm calling now. Hello, Bob. Hello, Grandad. How are you? Good. If you want to come round tomorrow, I would be grateful if you could bring some bottled water and some fruit. That's no problem. I'll come round tomorrow around 3 o'clock. Fine. See you tomorrow then. Take care. We asked a large number of older people what functions they would like an everyday assistant or robot to have. The answer was that it must be robust. In other words, the functions must always be available and the assistant should adapt itself to the individual characteristics of the living situations. You can watch TV, play games and surf on the internet with Elias. A robust speech recognizer was implemented for voice control, which allows use of certain stimulus words. For example, Elias, come here, or help. I can therefore call the robot to come to me from anywhere in my home. Elias! Elias, help! The countdown has started. Say stop if you do not need me. I'm calling now. Hello, Mr. Smith, how are you? Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor, not so good. I'm very dizzy. Okay. Um, have you eaten and drunk something today? Yes, I have. Okay, um... Okay, then I'll send someone round. Please keep sitting calmly. The carers will be there soon. Yes, thank you. In addition to microphones, Elias also has cameras and uses image processing algorithms which are first used to locate persons by distinctive features such as eyes. Other algorithms are then used to recognize them. Elias is able to move around independently in familiar environments. A safe distance from the user is maintained at all times. Elias is also able to detect obstacles in the dark using sonar and laser sensors. Elias, please take me to the bathroom. I'm taking you to the bathroom. Older people have quite different needs and ways of living. There are no different from younger people in this respect. Elias is able to adapt to the individual needs and habits of people. Alongside technical feasibility, acceptance is of particular importance. The question is, what capabilities must a robot have in order to be accepted by older people?